I always thought music was just as much a part of life as going to work. But the first thing I heard that made me say, you know what, I want to be a musician myself, was when I heard uh, the Jackson Five. I was 10 years old, and I think Michael Jackson was probably 10 or 11 years old himself. Marcus uh, can, can do things on, on with his, on his bass, and then write down many kinds of, of, of story. Miles, he has young musician, and I remember when Miles was getting ready to hire Marcus. The first thing I said was, I said, good, you, you have found your twin. Miles is Gemini, Marcus is Gemini. The two twins, so I said, yeah, you found your twin, and I said, it's gonna work. Miles' great uh, ability to improvisate and to create a, a picture against Marcus Miller's melody and his harmonies underneath, that was a great one. That's a historic uh, meeting there. There's absolutely a before Miles and after Miles. For me, the main thing was confidence because once you've played with Miles, if he's told you that he loves what you're doing, who else do you need to tell you that you're doing okay? You know, so then it was really more, what do I want to express? How do I want to say it? You know what I mean? What kind of musical area do I, do I want to move into now? Whether it's an orchestra or whether it's a small jazz group or a funk group or whether it's R&B or country or whatever it is, he finds his own voice within that. He thinks like a lead player. Not every bass player can do that. So he's unique in himself. Even though he can play like other people, there are other people that can't play like him. He's one of those names that you can just say Marcus, you know, in, in many, many countries, you could, you could just say Marcus as opposed to having to say Marcus Miller. Everyone is different. And you have to discover that difference in yourself. That's what Marcus has done. He's discovered himself, so he's very fortunate. 